Alright guys, welcome back. Once you've gotten that small key, you want to hop across, and I'm going to kill the fire keys real quick. Now, if you remember from earlier, the very first Goron that we rescued told us that we needed to head up to the room right above where we met Darunia as quickly as possible so that we could make the pillar that was in the ceiling come down so we could actually get to the boss door. Uh, so we're going to do that now, and uh, so you want to hop across to this platform right here and smack the face here. And this will make the pillar fall down and so that we have a path and we can get to the boss door. Unfortunately, at this point in the game, we do not have the boss key, so we're going to have to actually go get that. You should have one small key at this point. If you do not have a single small key, you need to go back and get it uh, before we can continue our way through the dungeon. So, uh, head back to the entrance and then kill the fire keys before we head onward. Now once again, if you remember from earlier, then one of the other Gorons that we just rescued inside that little room told us that uh, we needed to head back to the entrance and that there were some statues that uh, bombs do not work on, so he suggests that we use the hammer. So here's those statues right here, and we're going to smash them with the hammer, and this will reveal a locked door. So you should have one small key at this point, so head on through and this will use up our small key. This little room is filled with torch slugs and fire keys, so you're going to have to alternate between using your fairy bow and your sword to kill these enemies. Uh, it's kind of tricky, you might want to try and lure all the fire keys away first, uh, just so that way they're not attacking you from all directions. Uh, the torch slugs are much easier, but they're awkward when you're in the middle of trying to deal with the keys. Um, in any case, one other cool thing to note is that you can use the hammer to flip over the torch slugs. This is actually something that was introduced a few games ago. Um, with, in a link to the past, and you can flip over enemies using the hammer. And so you can flip them over again, and it doesn't really do anything because it'll just, it doesn't really hurt them unless you hit them with it directly. In any case, it's a pretty cool way to make them um, hurt so they can't do anything. So once you've killed them all, this will open up the door, and then you can head on through. In this room, there are some more tiles and a light like to deal with, so just dispatch them and then we can head on where there's a gold tool that we can snag. Uh, one interesting thing about this temple is that there is uh, chanting in the background, and it's uh, guys speaking in Arabic and they're um, talking about Allah, so that was eventually changed by Nintendo in later versions of Ocarina of Time. So anyways, in this room, once you have defeated the enemies, you want to head forward, kill the gold skatula, and collect token number 62. Now you're going to meet up with another flare dancer. These guys should be immensely easy for you at this point. Just use your hookshot to pull him out of his form, and then you can just attack him with your sword or your hookshot. Uh, so these guys should be immensely easy for you now, and now that you have the hammer, it's going to make these guys a lot easier. Remember that a jump attack will um, kill him instantly and move you on to the next phase if you are once he's in that little form. In any case, check this out. You can use the hammer to smash him when he's doing his little spinning attack, and it'll immediately just knock him down. It makes him really easy. You can just follow behind him using your sword. It's really not that hard. You know, the trick with him is that when you're falling around like that, you don't want to just keep constantly slashing constantly. You want to pause between your attacks so you can move. Once he's defeated, it will open up the nearby door, as well as make a little small chest up here, which contains bombs. If you need a bomb, go ahead and open it. Head on inside, and you'll see that there's a rusty switch, so use your hammer to smack it open, and this will release the final Goron. Talk to him, and he'll basically clap you on the back and tell you how awesome you are. We already knew that, but he'll also encourage you to go on and fight the boss, telling you that you need to go help Darunia. So that's pretty cool. Once he's done talking, you want to open the large chest to get the boss key, then we can just head on into the boss room.
Now before we tackle the boss, you might want to collect some fairies. Off to the right side, you can use your hookshot to get over to this platform, and there are some fairies inside uh, the jars over here, so you can use your empty bottles to collect them. Uh, I'm actually full at the moment, so I'm just going over here just to show you guys. Once you're done with that, you want to head on into the boss door. And that is it for this video. Join me for the next one, and I will show you how to defeat the boss of the Fire Temple, Bulbagia.